Welcome back to the Data Analyst. Today we are diving into Hold Winters method, one of the most powerful tool for time series forecasting. This method is perfect for data with seasonality and trends. Hold Winters method, also known as triple exponential smoothing, extend the single and double exponential smoothing model by adding component for seasonality. It comes in two flavors, additive and multiplicative. But don't worry, we will break it down step by step. Before moving to the session, if you have doubt with single and double exponential smoothing, go and watch this two video. I will attach the video link into description box. Holt Winters method is a powerful time series forecasting technique that incorporates three components, level, trend, and seasonality. And there are two models, additive and multiplicative. Additive model suitable when the seasonal fluctuation remain constant over time. And the multiplicative model for ideal when the seasonal variations increase over time. Let's see how to perform Holt Winters method using Minitab. So this is our data set. We have uh, three years data uh, from January to uh, December. And this is our sales value. And first step is create time series plots to check whether your data have trends or seasonality. So go to stat and click time series and click time series plot and click simple and click OK and put your sales variable into series box and click OK. So this is our time series plot. So in here you can see we have trend also the seasonality but it is not an fluctuation type uh, that means uh, increase in pattern uh, seasonality so it seems like same seasonality patterns so we don't need to use multiplicative uh, model we can use additive model for this data set let's see if the additive model is work fine for this or not so go to again stat and click time series and click winters method and put our sales variable here and seasonal length I will put 12 because uh, I choose 12 month seasonal length but if you want to use 4 by 4 month that means 4 to 4 types of uh, method then you can put 4 here so you can put any value here so in here I will use uh, 12 as seasonal length and I will choose additive model and put our level value here so it's already uh, put 0 0.2 so I will put 0 0.3 here and trend I will put 0 0.4 and seasonal I will put uh, 2 so if you have different value then you can put here then click generate forecast so I'm going to use one forecast but if you want 12 or 13 or 5 or 4 you can put any value here but you should have some data set uh, what I mean is you don't you cannot perform a numerous number of forecast value for small data set but you have some uh, large data set then you can put any forecasting value here and I will click uh, storage and put tick marks on level estimation, trend estimation and seasonal estimation and click OK and again click OK. So in here we have 37th forecast value that means year 4 month January forecast value is 366.054. Let's see our method. So in here you can see some, uh, the blue color one is actual value, the red color one is fitted value. So this is the icon, green color point. This is our forecast value. So in this case, our forecast value is 366. 054. 